Hi guys, welcome to Football Lions. In fact, FIFA is going to introduce a new offside rule, guys. FIFA said to introduce a new offside rule. And let's talk about it first, because that is football in general issue. So let's talk about it. And this is it, guys. You see the man in yellow? He's the attacking player. And the man in white? He's the last defender. So this rule is that the attacking player is said to be offset only if his whole body is in front of the last defender. An attacking player will only call offside if only his whole body is in front of the last defender, guys. In which the last defender is the man in white and the attacking player is the man in yellow. So, you see the first picture. The attacking player and the defender, although their whole body is not in the same position, yes, but it called on site. It is called on site. And the current rule, this on site will be off site. Yes. So this is where the new rule then implies the second picture down here with the right line. The front player or the attacking player whole body is now in front of the last defender. And this is where it is called offside. So now FIFA will not be dealing with shoulder or toes or any minimal part of the body. But they will now be dealing with the whole body. Yes, they will now be dealing with the whole body. Guys, so that is a new offside rule although this rule haven't introduced yet they started experimenting about it talking about it and discussing about it this rule haven't started working guys so that is it let me hear your opinion and your thought under the comment section about this new rule how do you see it is it good or is it terrible let me hear from you guys and this rule FIFA is trying to avoid something here. First, they want to remove delays in checking the offside rule. Yes. And second, they want to make the offside rule simple. Yes. Because talking about the whole body, you don't need AI or computer or machine to know that this player is now offside because they will not be dealing with the toes or the shoulder anymore. You just have to see the whole body being upside. That is all. Simple and short. No confusing here. But the negative aspect is that it will favor the attackers so much. Now, defenders have to struggle, position themselves, and even play in high defensive line as defenders. It will be difficult. It will be difficult. And also, it will look like they are indirectly canceling offside in football. And offside not being in football, it will be terrible. So guys, for me, that is my opinion about this rule. Let me hear from you and your thought about this rule under the comment section. And let's go to Patrick Vera, guys. Patrick Vera has been appointed as a new boss for Chelsea Satellite Club, Strasbourg, based in Lekuan. And this is it, guys. Sign completed. Patrick Vera has been appointed as new Strasbourg head coach. Deal completed today following Chelsea on a takeover of League One side. So, guys, recently Chelsea bought this club, RC Strasbourg, from League One. And Patrick Vera has been appointed as the new coach, the former Crystal Palace boss. And this is what I like about this transfer Patrick Vera being RC Strasbourg manager. RC Strasbourg just bought it to grow young players yes just bought this team to grow young players the likes of Detroit Fafana the likes of Cesar Casadel they will send to this club to develop yes before they can come back to the Premier League and play in Chelsea Cincinnati and Patrick Vera as a player and as a coach he has Premier League experience so the guys are going to learn a lot from him yes and Patrick is going to teach the guys a lot what you need to have as a player 
before you can play in the Premier League or you can play in Chelsea senior team. Yes. So this deal is very good one for Chelsea and it will benefit Chelsea a lot in the long run. Yes, we may not see it now, but in the long run, seeing those young guys coming to compete, coming to challenge, coming to play well in Chelsea, it will down to RC Stroudburg, their development at RC Stroudburg, particularly being under uh, Patrick Vera. And as I said, Patrick, as a coach and as a player, he has the experience. He ever played in the Premier League before. So the guys are going to learn a lot from him. So that is why I said it's a good move and it's a good transfer from Chelsea owners. In fact, this is a good decision. So guys, that is it. Let me hear your thought and your opinion about this transfer under the comment section, guys. And please, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far. And Kaisaido transfer, guys. Chelsea and Brighton are still on negotiating. They are still talking, yes, to find a final resolution. Just in Chelsea and Brighton are having direct contact over Moses Kaisaido. Both clubs trying to find a way to make the deal happen. Chelsea want to go strong on it as they don't want long negotiations. So, guys, that is it. This transfer or this deal. Chelsea and Brighton want to come into consensus. Yes, they don't want any rumor or any uh, circulation about this transfer until the deal is ready. Yes, until both parties agree to one resolution. So that is why it looks like things are delaying. Things are not delaying. They want to find a final decision that both parties will be okay with, guys. Kaisado deal. So that is why things are seems like delaying. And next week will be a hot week for this Kaisado transfer, guys. So that is it for now. And let me hear your opinion and your thought about this Kaisado deal, guys. And it will happen 95% because Kaisado won the transfer. So no issue on personal terms. The only issue here is that about the transfer fee. So and that is what they are negotiating about. So let's hope this deal done. Yes. And next week will be a hot week for this deal. Whether this deal will go through or this deal will not go through. Next week, we'll get to know. Everything will be disclosed. So guys, let me hear your opinion and your thought for this transfer. And Chelsea to sign Juventus striker, guys. Chelsea to sign Juventus striker. Dusan Valahovic. Dusan Valahovic. And this is it, guys. Juventus have rejected an initial 60 million offer from Chelsea for striker Dusan Valhovic. So guys, that is it. Dusan Valhovic. Juventus won 70 million above for him. And Chelsea submitted 60 million. So they rejected it. So apart from Chelsea and Juventus having problem with the fee, not agreeing on the fee, Dusan as a player, Dusan Valhovic as a player. He is young. He has the physics. He has the shooting boot. In fact, he's going to give a lot for Chelsea. He's going to give a lot for Chelsea. And what I like about this guy is that he is natural number nine. He is natural number nine. All the attacking players Chelsea have currently. Nkunku, Nicolas, and Co. Yes, they can play as strikers, but they are versatile players. They can play in other attacking positions like the attacking midfield, left wing, and right wing. But this guy, Dusan Valhovic, his sole main duty is number nine. His main duty as a player to play as number nine solely striker yes solely as a striker and Chelsea will be missing this for seasons a player who will give us that striking qualities a player who will be bullying defenders disturbing center backs 
given as goals week in week out as a striker we've been missing this for season in Chelsea and this guy is the right man as I said his solely position is striking number nine he doesn't play anywhere in the front line except number nine so Duzan is going to give a lot for Chelsea Duzan is going to give a lot for Chelsea and he is still young 23 years of age so guys let's hope Chelsea and Juventus agree on a fee and get this deal done yes let's hope because Juventus won 70 million and above and Chelsea submitted 16 million which was even rejected so let's hope Juventus and Chelsea come to consensus and agree to a fee so that Duzan will be a Chelsea player. Yes, as a striker and main and solely striker for Chelsea. So guys, let me hear your opinion and your thought about Duzan. Do you think he can be the right man for Chelsea striking position? Let me hear from you guys, your thought, your opinion. And Chelsea is also exploring to sign another attacking midfielder, guys. He's on the list of Chelsea, whose name is called Matis Ryan Cheki from Olympic Lyon. And this is it, guys. Chelsea are reportedly weighing up a potential move for Lyon attacker Ryan Cheki. The 19 year old has long been regarded as one of the most exciting talents in Europe since busting onto the scene with Lyon at the age of just 16. So guys, that is the player, Matis Ryan Cheki, Lyon footballer and from France. In fact, this guy, when he was 16 years of age, Man United and Madrid wanted to sign him. So that really proved how good he is. And now he is 19 years of age and he has a market value of 30 million and he is playing for France under 21. And the qualities this guy have as a young player, 19 years of age, you can't believe it. You can't believe it. Once Cheki is playing, you may think he is 28 years of age. In fact, he's playing with some experience. Yes, he's playing with attack minded. Yes, in fact, he will be a good replacement for our attacking position. He will be a good replacement. And when I see Cheki, I see Hazard in him. I see Hazard in him. He can shoot. He can dribble. He is also a versatile player. He can play as attacking midfielder. He can play as left wing. He can play as right wing, guys. And as I said, he is attacking minded player. And when he's on the fold, forget. He is like a lion. He is like a lion. He doesn't joke. He can give long passes, short passes, set pieces. Forget about all the shooting aspect. Forget, guys. Forget. As I said, he doesn't look like 19 years of age player. He doesn't look like 19 years of age player. Check it. So, he's on the list of Chelsea. Chelsea haven't approached Lyon, but... Chelsea is monitoring and Chelsea and Olympic Leonis, they have good communication. Chelsea recently signed uh, Gusto from Olympic Leonis and also uh, Olympic want to sign Pulisic, where we will come to. So Chelsea and Olympic Leonis, they have good communication. There's no issue here. As far as Chelsea approach, the deal will be done. But Chelsea is still monitoring him and he's on the list of Chelsea. So guys, let me hear your thought and your opinion about this transfer. Can he play for Chelsea? Would you like Chelsea to sign him? Matis Ryan Cheki. Would you like Chelsea to sign him? Let me hear your thought and your opinion under the comment section, guys. And let's come to Christian Pulisic. Let's come to Christian Pulisic, guys. Christian Pulisic initially, AC Milan was interested to sign him. And later, Leon submitted a buy to sign Christian Pulisic. And this is it, guys. Breaking, Lyon have tabled a buy worth 25 million plus 
a meaningful sell on clause that is still being negotiated for Christian policy, which is at a level that Chelsea will find acceptable and they are reluctant to accept lower. So guys, that is it. So now Lyon entered into the race and submitted 25 million to sign uh, Pulisic. And that fee, it seems Chelsea will agree. Yes, because that fee is more than the one AC Milan was presenting to Chelsea. So it seems Chelsea will agree, but Chelsea will not agree once Lyon want to pay lower fee. Chelsea will not accept that one. Christian Pulisic, in fact, he has to go to a team where he will get game time because he's a very good player and he's a very important player at US national team. He's their captain there. And Pulisic, he can't get playing time at Chelsea. He can't get playing time at Chelsea next season. The likes of uh, Nkunku, Nicolas, and even just a link up to Dusan and Cheki. Imagine all this transfer happen. Policy will not get the game down. He will not get it. And when you even look at Pochettino playing style, Policy cannot do it. Pochettino likes aggressive players. Yes, Pochettino likes players who are relentless, who can press. Yes. And Policy is someone who, who is not physical strong. So, working under this new coach, it will be hard for Policy. It will be hard for Policy. So we are wishing that Pulisi get a team where you are having the playing time. And let's hope, guys, this time around, this deal with Lyon will happen. So that Pulisi go and have a good time and a playing time there. In fact, we can't forget about you, Christian Pulisic, the goal you score against Real Madrid in the Champions League. We can't forget about you. So, guys, that is the information and the transfer for Christian Pulisic. So let me hear your opinion and your thought about this transfer also. And please don't forget to subscribe and like this video to go far. Take care. Peace. Love you.